there's no denying ASICS has been absolutely killing it as a brand over the last few years with reputable sources like GQ even having them as sneaker brand of the year for 2023. And today we're gonna be styling a couple different pairs of ASICS that I own with a bunch of different outfits. So if you're maybe on the fence about grabbing your first pair of ASICS or you have a pair and just aren't sure exactly how to style them, this video is definitely for you. The first being the ASICS Gel 1130 in this brown canyon clay colorway. Super clean and a great value for this shoe. I think I picked these up under 150, so I'll definitely be sure to link these down below at anywhere I can find them, but very clean colorway and super easy to rock as well. Also gonna be styling the Gel Cayano 14, probably one of the most popular models by ASICS, and I definitely see why. This is the black metallic plum colorway. Super, super clean again both very, very comfortable and surprisingly easy to style. They're just a casual shoe, so they really fit into anyone's wardrobe, especially if you wear a lot of comfortable, casual, everyday fits. These are gonna be perfect for you. But if you guys are new around here, my name is Nate and I do men's fashion, sneaker content, and how to style videos. So if you are into that, hit the subscribe button. We are on the grind to 10K. Would love for you guys to be part of that journey, but enough talking, let's get into these fits. My good homies over at Modern Tones were kind enough to bless me with their newest winter capsule drop and sent over these dope beanies so I figured we could style them in the first few fits of this video, starting with this black one. I can't even begin to tell you guys how many times I've rocked some variation of this exact same outfit before. It's extremely timeless because it combines a bunch of wardrobe staples into one outfit. The denim jacket and sweatpants is a cool combination in my opinion because it takes a super casual piece and makes it a bit more put together with the addition of a denim jacket. The details do really make a difference for this fit. We layered using a graphic tee to complement the other black accents of the fit like the beanie, shades, and this incredible bag from Cause, which you guys will see featured a few more times in this video. This has been my everyday bag because it's so spacious, but it's also a cool statement piece to any outfit. And I don't have to say too much about these sweats from Destructive since you guys have probably seen these a bunch before on the channel, but they just sit absolutely perfectly when combined with a pair of ASICs and match the athleisure vibe of the shoe very, very well. Onto the cream beanie from Modern Tones, which actually seemed to be a crowd favorite when I put up a poll on my Instagram. Here we threw on another super cozy fit and the first things probably jumping out at you here are these mint green track pants from Minimal. I actually wasn't sure about these when I was picking them up since they are a bit out of my comfort zone, but since grabbing them, I actually love the nice pop of color they add to my outfits. The touch of purple on the stripes actually complement the metallic plums really well, and to keep the rest of the outfit pretty neutral, we have a grey hoodie up top from Nova Men. This is another pair of pants that I love how they sit on a pair of ASICs with more of a covered sneaker look. Completing the trifecta with this brown beanie now and we went all out with the earth tones for this outfit. Combining browns, greens and different shades of beige is an easy way to always have a cohesive fit. For this outfit we went with a cropped flannel from Abercrombie, the proportions on this are just awesome and I love the color scheme. It's layered under another piece from Abercrombie being this oversized cropped raw hem tee and down below we have a pair of sweatpants that Nova Men sent over and I've actually been wearing these all the time. If you guys watched my pants video you'll know that relaxed sweats will be huge this year and I don't see them slowing down anytime soon. They look great over any pair of sneakers and especially these ASICS Gel 1130s. This might actually be one of my favorite fits in the whole video but you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments. And just because I literally have been living in these hats, I decided to throw on one more fit with the black one. And if you guys like the beanies or anything else on the Modern Tones website, you can actually use my code NATE10 for a discount at checkout. The standout piece for this outfit though is definitely this plum colored hoodie that Destructive sent over. This is absolutely a recent favorite of mine because like I mentioned earlier, I am trying to incorporate more pops of color into my outfits. And with a statement piece like this, it really helps out. We also have the cost quilted bag featured once again here. And then this pair of track pants from Minimal was another one I highlighted on my best pants video. And I absolutely love the relaxed fit, the drawstrings, and especially how they sit on a shoe. I would highly recommend grabbing these if you guys have a chance. And as you can see by the first couple fits of this video, these ASICs really work well with cozy, everyday outfits. Winter is still in full effect over here, so on the drier days where I'm just running out for some errands or maybe going to the mall, I'll throw on something like this. We have my olive green puffer jacket from last year's Uniqlo U-Drop. This has definitely been a staple in my winter wardrobe. We also have this crew neck from Destructive layered underneath as a nice contrast to the green jacket. And then down below, we have these nylon cargos from Black Taylor in this nice beige colorway, which I think complements the clay canyons very well. As you can see, you don't really have to match the brown perfectly on these shoes to build a cohesive outfit. For the next fit with 
the gel kyanos, I wanted to throw on something with a bit lighter spring tones because spring is definitely right around the corner. So we threw on this light purple hoodie from Minimal. It has a slightly cropped fit, but is oversized through the shoulders and arms. And since this fit is made up of overall lighter tones, I wanted to add some contrast. So we have all my black frames as well as my black quilted bag once again. And I think altogether it works well with this light wash denim from Abercrombie, which are just really my go-to everyday jeans. But a good rule of thumb for rocking Asics with jeans is that if you wear something more on the baggy or relaxed side, it matches the vibe and silhouette of the shoe a little bit closer than a slim fit pair of pants would in my opinion. Here's how I would rock my Asics in a more casual way, just by pairing them with something like this knit sweater. And this was a recent Zara pickup that I absolutely love. It was originally 80 bucks and I got it off the sale rack for like less than $30. And not to mention it comes in this garment dyed finish, which is a really nice detail and something I don't really have anything like in my closet. Since it does have kind of a distressed vibe, I paired it with my thrifted black wash jeans, which also are on the slightly relaxed side and sit nicely over the sneakers. Asics are definitely one of those sneakers that look great with a pair of shorts, so I decided to throw a couple shorts fits in the video so you guys can have an idea of how to rock these in the warmer months. This outfit, we kept things really simple and went for a retro 90s vibe. We have the same oversized grey crew neck from Destructive up top again, and as you guys can see, most of my everyday basics are indeed from Destructive. They just get a ton of wear in my wardrobe. Also rocking a cap from more apparel by the one and only Bryce Kicks. He really killed it with these hats. And this one is just such a wearable color that will fit seamlessly into any wardrobe. Love what Bryce is doing and I definitely take a ton of inspiration and advice from his channel. So I highly recommend you guys check him out if you haven't already. We threw on a pair of jorts down below. These are from Abercrombie. And to me, the wash as well as the relaxed fit makes these perfect and a go-to choice for any of my spring and summer outfits. Another warmer weather fit here with the Gel Kyano 14s and this is one of those outfits that you can just throw on quickly to step out and not think twice about it. We're rocking this long sleeve tee from you guessed it, Destructive, and it has such an incredible fade that gives a natural distressed look to the garment and above all the quality in this and every other Destructive piece I own is just top tier. And as a pop of color to this otherwise neutral fit we have a blue LA cap and we're rocking some mesh shorts from Modern Tones once again down below. I love the script detail on these and it gives the mesh shorts a very elevated feel. I gotta say Asics and mesh shorts is really a perfect combo for the warmer weather and I'll be wearing these a ton once I finally can again. Quick tip for rocking shorts with your Asics, I would stay away from branded socks and just go with something plain. I have a ton of these pairs I'm wearing here from Uniqlo, they're unbranded and look great with any shoe you throw at it. Here's another outfit where I went heavy on the earth tones. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, greens, browns, and tans will always complement each other very well, so you can get creative about how you incorporate them into your fits. I sound like a broken record here, but this whole outfit except for the bag is all from Destructive once again. The brown hoodie is extremely heavyweight, and I went true to size with this one for a slightly oversized fit. I have my go-to Uniqlo drawstring bag to complement the brown tones, and down below my new snap cargo pants. These I just got in and I really couldn't like them anymore. They're in a nice army green and have a relaxed fit drawstring details and of course the classic button closures on the bottom so you can change how they finish on your sneakers. I can't recommend these enough, unfortunately are out of stock right now, but keep an eye out when they do return because you will not regret these. And there you guys have it, 10 different ways to style your Asics. Hopefully you did find this helpful. If you did, leave me a comment down below with your favorite fit from today's video. Also let me know if there's any specific content you guys want to see from the channel in the future. I do respond to every single comment. The support lately has been unbelievable. Truly, truly appreciate you guys and I can't wait to see you in the next video. If you are on the hunt for some new pants or just aren't really sure how to style your pants with your sneakers, definitely check out this video right here. I'll catch you guys there. Peace.